Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and for today I have an abs and glutes workout for you. So when you're ready to get started, take a seated position on your mat with your knees bent, feet hip distance apart. Holding on to the back of your thighs, inhale, lengthen through your spine, opening your chest. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin in. Three more times, inhale as you lengthen, taking your gaze slightly up. Exhale as you round. Pairing your breath with your movement here, tuning into your body. Last one, inhale, lengthen, expanding through your heart center. And this time on your exhale, round your spine and carefully lower yourself all the way down to your back. Resting your head, walk your heels slightly in towards your glutes and reach your arms overhead. Extend your left leg long, hovering your left leg a few inches off the mat. Exhale, pull your left knee in towards your chest, curling your head and shoulders up. Inhale, lower your head back down and extend the leg. So exhale as you curl, inhale as you lower. Trying to keep that left leg hovering off the mat as you extend it out. Make sure your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest and that you're dropping your ribs down towards your hips each time you curl up. Let's do two more, really reaching through your fingertips. And last one, hold your curl. Take 10 baby curls, reach and reach, just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cross your left knee over your right knee now. Rest your head and press your palms down into the mat. Imprint your spine and lift your legs up to a tabletop position. Keeping your lower back in contact with the mat, tap your right toes down to the floor on your exhale. Inhale, lift them up. We do this seven more times. Really making sure that you only lower your toes as low as you can without arching through your back. That way you're really using your lower abdominals and your core to control the movement. And last one, hold your legs lifted. Hands go behind your head now, elbows wide. Lift your head and shoulders up. Let's lower both halves of our body down now on our inhale and exhale, curl everything back up. So inhale, lower, exhale, curl. This one really burns, so use your breath to help you. Four more. Tapping your toes a little bit further away from you if you want more of a challenge. And last one, hold your curl. Exhale, twist towards your left knee and inhale, come back through center. So exhale, twist, inhale, center. Really trying to bring that right elbow over to your left knee. Keeping your knees stacked over your hips. Four more, three, you're almost there, two, and last one. Well done, rest your head, hug your knees in for a moment. And just take a quick little breather before we do that all over on the other leg. So once you're ready, let's take our feet back down on the mat, reach your arms overhead and extend your right leg out, hovering your right leg a few inches off the floor. On your exhale, lift your head and shoulders, pull your right knee in, inhale, lower back down. So exhale as you curl, inhale as you lower. You do eight more of these. Making sure again that your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest to protect your neck and that you're focusing on that rib to hip connection each time that you lift your head and shoulders up. Let's do two more. 
And last one, hold your curl. Let's do those baby curls. You reach and reach. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Cross your right knee over your left, rest your head, and press your palms down into the mat. Lift your legs to your tabletop position. And on your exhale, let's tap our left toes down to the mat and inhale, lift them back up. So exhale, tap, inhale, lift. Focusing on keeping your lower back in contact with the mat, only lowering your legs as low as you can without arching your spine. Focus on your breath here. Try to keep your upper body and your shoulders nice and relaxed. Last one, hold your legs lifted, hands go behind your head, elbows wide, and let's lift our head and shoulders up. Time for the burner. Inhale, both halves lower. Exhale, both halves lift. Let's do six more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. This one really burns. I know my abs were on fire by this point. So if yours are too, you're doing it right. Last one, hold your curl, exhale, left elbow to right knee, inhale, center, 10 times. Let's do eight more and seven. Really twisting, trying to bring that elbow over to your knee. Four, you can do it, three, two, and last one, hold your twist, extend your left leg long, and let's take some bicycles to finish. You just switch and switch. You got it, nice exhale and exhale. You have 10 more, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you can do it, three, two, and one well done Woo! rest your head take a breather stretch your arms and legs out nice and long feeling a nice stretch for your abdominals and then let's turn over to our side coming up onto your right forearm make sure your right elbow is underneath your shoulders and your legs and your hips are stacked on top of one another slide your knees back so that they are in line with your body Left hand goes onto your hip and really lift up through the side of your waist. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, lift your left leg. Inhale, lower the leg. Exhale, lower your hips. So your hips lift, your leg lifts, your leg lowers, and your hip lowers. You've got six more of these. This is really going to work both our core and our outer glute. So you're gonna feel everything working here. Not to mention as well, a bit of shoulder work. On your next one, hold your knee lifted, extend your left leg out and rest your toes on the floor. Left hand goes behind your head, elbow wide. We have another combo. Exhale, turn your chest towards the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, lower. We do seven more of these. If you need to rest your hip back down on the mat, you always can. Just continue with the same movement. Really nice job. Keep pressing through that right shoulder staying as lifted as you can through the side of your waist. This one really burns. You've got two more. And last one, hold your left leg lifted, reach your left arm overhead and let's lift that leg up and up. Just eight more, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, and one, ouch. I hope you felt that one, I know I did. Okay, coming on to your hands and your knees now, finding your tabletop position. Make sure you are using the same leg that you just worked, so your left leg. 
flex your left foot and draw your navel in towards your spine. Let's press our left foot up to the ceiling and lower. So you just press and lower eight more times, really squeezing the base of your glutes. Make sure your spine stays nice and straight and your neck is nice and long with your back. Two more. And last one, hold the press. Little pulses up and up. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the press, point your left toes now. Exhale, rotate your knee open, and then inhale, bring it back through center. We do this eight more times. Try to keep your leg as lifted as you can. So you're keeping your left thigh parallel with the floor. This will also get your core fired up. So you should feel your abs slightly burning as you open that knee out to the side. And last one, hold your knee open. Lower down onto your right forearm, boxing out your left arm. Let's slide our left knee forward in line with our hip. Inhale, lower your knee down, exhale, lift. So you just lower and lift. Now really getting into the outside of our left glute. Make sure that your knee stays in line with your hip and that you're keeping your chest and your shoulders parallel to the floor. Two more. Last one, hold your knee lifted. Little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I know it burns. Four, three, two, and a one. Hold that leg lifted. Extend your leg back behind you and then pull the knee forward towards your left elbow. Inhale as you extend, exhale as you pull. You've got eight more of these. Really try to reach through your left toes, extending your leg nice and long. That left glute should be on fire, but if you are feeling it in your right glute as well, that means you're doing it right. You've got two more, stay with me. And last one, hold your leg extended back. Finish with 10 pulses. Let's go up and up for eight, seven, six, five. Keep your focus. Three more, two, and one. My gosh, give that glute a nice little rub if you need to. And let's quickly move on to the next side. We have no time to waste. So coming down onto your left forearm now, make sure your left elbow is underneath your left shoulder. Your hips and legs are stacked on top of one another and your knees are back in line with your body. Right hand goes onto your hip, lift up through the side of your waist. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, lift your right leg. Inhale, lower your leg and exhale, lower your hips. So hips lift, leg lifts, leg lowers, hips lower. You have six more of these. Really using your breath to help you here. And remember, if lifting your hips is too much, you can always keep your hips on the floor and just continue with the leg movement. Make sure that you are pressing through your left shoulder and really trying to stay lifted through the side of your waist. Last one, hold your leg lifted, extend your leg out and rest your toes on the floor. Right hand goes behind your head, elbow wide. Exhale, you twist, inhale, open. Exhale, leg lifts, inhale, lower. So upper body twists, open, leg lifts, leg lowers. Nice, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. This one really burns. I know you should also really be feeling it in that left glute because that left glute is really tired from the previous side. So you've really got to use your breath here. One more. Now hold your leg lifted, reach your right arm overhead, little lifts. 
four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your hips down. Come to that tabletop position again on your hands and your knees and make sure now that you are working your right leg. So flex your right foot and let's press that right leg up and down. Nice exhale press, inhale lower. Eight more of these. Making sure that each time you press your right foot up towards the ceiling, that you're thinking of that rib to hip connection and that you're not arching through your spine. Last one, hold the press, 10 pulses, lift and lift, just eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the press, point your right toes, exhale, rotate the knee open and inhale, bring it back through center. So you open and close, trying to keep that thigh at exactly the same height you're just rotating from that right hip joint. Two more. And last one, hold your knee open, lower down onto your left forearm now, boxing out your right arm. Slide your right knee in line with your hip and let's close the knee down and open everyone's favorite i know this one is a serious burner gets into the outside of our glute almost immediately inhale lower exhale lift again making sure that your chest and your shoulders are as square to the floor as possible and last one, hold the leg lifted, little pulses up and up. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the leg back behind you. Then exhale, pull your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, extend. So you pull and extend. Eight more of these. Really try to keep your right leg as lifted as you can as you pull that knee forward. And then reach through your right toes, engaging your right leg muscles as you extend the leg back. Last one, hold your leg back. Final move, we lift it up and up. Eight more, seven, this is it. Six, five, four, you can do it, three, two and one well done you are finished press yourself back into a well-deserved child's pose and just let your body fall heavy into the mat relaxing through your shoulders through your forehead your jaw and just returning to your breath then very carefully roll your spine up to seated. Shift your weight onto your glutes and make your way carefully onto your back. Keeping your left foot on the floor, cross your right foot over your left thigh, flexing your right foot and hug your left knee in towards your chest. Feeling a well-deserved stretch for that right glute. And then carefully release, let's switch sides, flex your left foot, cross your left foot over your right thigh and hug your right knee in. Breathing into this well-deserved stretch because we really worked our glutes intensely today. Then carefully release, hug your knees in. An option to take happy baby if that feels good for you. Holding on to the outside of your feet, pressing your knees down towards your underarms, as well as trying to keep your lower back in contact with the floor. 
really feeling a nice release for our hips. Then carefully hug both knees back in and rock the length of your spine up to a seated position. Cross your legs, sitting up tall. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Other side, inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, side bend to your right. And back through center. Fingertips in front of your body now. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, carefully walk your hands forward finding a nice forward fold, feeling a release through your lower back. Then carefully walk your hands back, sitting up tall. Let's finish class today with one last big inhale, reaching our arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that quick little abs and booty workout. Hopefully you will feel it in your abs and booty later today or tomorrow. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone, and I'll see you next time.